Yes, welcome. Now, what a spectacular time. There was the Parade of Planets. Now, I never saw this Parade of Planets. It has been raining here. But the gift of this rain has been the fact that everything is so luscious. Like, where I live is like a desert country in Canada. But it feels definitely much like the West Coast here right now. And I've never seen the plants flourish like this, but I am telling you, I'm very thankful today to be seeing the sun. I'm so thankful. Now this parade of planets, if you got to see it, what a gift. I, I did try to get out and see it this morning, but I'm gonna be honest, guys. I was enjoying my rejuvenation with my pillow and biscuit boo in bed. And I just didn't feel called. And like, that's what I feel like is really shifting. It's like, we're feeling so much of this within without it's not as important now yes it would have been would have been spectacular to see but i i really feel like we're shifting to really feeling things within and really you know cultivating these universes that we came to cultivate within we are going to expand off this in part two and talk about the planets that were visible we're going to receive some channeled messages there but what we're in the preparations for now is the new moon in Cancer. We've got a fire lit. We're going to get a message, okay? We're going to get a message and expand because something is expand. We're expanding with this cup here, okay? And we're having a metamorphosis. We're expanding with the Father of Cups. And there's a connection to Cancer and Scorpio. And we're doing it through the earth. And as we do this through the earth, we're restoring balance through the earth and with the element of air. We're healing from corruption. Now the moon is opening up a portal. And we're going to find out what this is connected to. But it has to something to do with us finding the strength to create anew, to birth with the forces of creation the cosmic flower and it has something to do with our energy and our sustainability there's going to be a third eye activation here and it's connected to the metamorphosis with death we're getting that much closer to death we're working with the de death templates to get that much closer to life and we're understanding that we're doing it all at the same time we expand off this in part two channel messages where we're starting to see it's about living and dying at the same time but but what are we focusing what are we feeding into where are we putting our energy because we are living and dying at the same time we're doing both but we're holding the balance through the center point and 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 we're not going mad now when we do this whereas before before we began evolving humanity it was you know we could only be dying or living but we're seeing we're, we're accepting our multi-dimensionality and we're seeing we're doing it all and we can be doing it all at the same time and we're just at the center point balancing it all you know and we are choosing what we're feeding our energy to it whether it's conscious consciously or subconsciously and it has to do with there's a metamorphosis with the with the nine of swords and the five of swords now we're going to remove five swords. That means we're going to be lefting. We're going to be lefting. We're going to be left with the four of swords. And there is an integration happening, okay? Right here within the Vesica Pisces, this is about love and the healing spiral, but there is there is a there's this pattern within within right here, okay? So, we're having an integration. The frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. That's what we're doing right now. All right, guys. I love you. See you part two channel messages, and then we'll expand off that in part three.